Let's take a quick look at some of the other tools that are in here on the Type tool. How about the Horizontal Type Mask tool? Now that will give you a selection of the same shape as the type that you'd get if you chose the Horizontal Type tool. So the difference is, if I chose the Horizontal Type tool and then clicked on the image, it's going to create a new type layer over here in the Layers window. And the type that I create is going to have this color and this alignment and so on. All this stuff that we've discussed already. Now here if I click on the image, something else happens. The whole image goes red. That's the mask color. And if I type something, you can see that there's something very strange going on. You can see the image through the type unmasked. Now if I switch to the Move tool, that's a selection. Now the way selections work are if you move them when you've got the Move tool selected, they will actually cut out whatever image they're over the top of. Whereas if you choose a selection tool, and any one of them will do, you can click inside that selection and drag it where you want. So if I put it right about there, and then choose Command-J, I get a new layer with whatever part of the image was inside that selection when I made that layer. So this has got many possibilities. Right now, if I get the Move tool, I can use the arrow keys and nudge it around on the image. Or I could use the styles here and give it, for example, a drop shadow. How about an outer glow? How about a little bit of bevel and emboss? So there are many, many possibilities here, many interesting options. Those have been added as sub-layers. If I want to turn off the drop shadow, I can. If I want to turn off the bevel and emboss, I can. If I want to turn both of them off together, I can. And if I want to reset the bevel and emboss or the drop shadow, all I have to do is double click on this sub layer and it opens the window up straight away and I can change it. If you want, you can use the vertical type mask tool as well and that will create a selection shape in exactly the same way that the Vertical Type tool would create the type. You can then add special effects to it in the same way that I've done here, but instead of being horizontal, it'll be vertical instead. As I said, many possibilities. If you can't enjoy yourself with Photoshop, you need to get out more.